Hey guys, we're making rock pendants today. Um, I'm going to show you how to drill a pendant. I have marked a little dot there at the top where I want my hole to be. I'm using a Dremel 3000. My husband is actually going to drill while I video uh, the, the whole process. It is a diamond head drill bit. You can look for diamond head drill bits online on Amazon. I believe that's where we purchase them. Um, I will put all the links in the description for you where I buy my stuff here in Canada. Now you'll need a shallow bowl of water on a piece of cardboard. Uh, you want to put your rock on the cardboard or it's just going to slide around on the bottom of the glass. Uh, make sure that you only have enough water that it just sits above the stone. You just need it to be wet. So it's kind of like when you're cutting tiles and you're doing uh, wet tile cutting and stuff. You need a little bit of water there. It, it, helps, um, it helps to penetrate the stone a little bit easier. Um, now the drill, it, it does take a moment to penetrate the top layer of the stone. Make sure that you keep it straight up and down so that you don't slide off the surface of the rock and scratch the rock. Once you've established that little dent in the rock, then you can start pressing harder. You can rock it back and forth to adjust the size of the hole that you want. Um, and here I'm just showing you that you can also drill previously painted and sealed pendants as well. If you don't have a drill but you want to paint up some and then get a drill later and drill them up, uh, you can wait till after they've been painted. So that's just so you know. Um, I painted this up so that I knew where I wanted the holes to be. Um, and I marked them out for my husband, of course, using paint. And then I resined it, and now he's going to drill a hole on the left side and the right side for me. Um, make sure you clean your water. It does get foggy really quick with particles from the stone itself. And if you can't see what you're doing, it's, uh, it makes it for a really tough drill. Um, make sure you change your water if it starts getting foggy and, and wear a headlamp or have really good lighting so that you can see what you're doing. Um, my husband is wearing a headlamp and I've got the flash from my phone as well shining a light so he can see really well right now. Um, you'll hear the sound change once it hits through the, the back of the stone and then just lift it out carefully and you have a perfect little hole for a bale to go in. Now I do purchase uh, sterling silver or stainless steel bales on amazon.com or amazon.ca here in Canada. Um, you can purchase bales at any, any store that sells beads and jewelry making supplies. You can probably get them at Walmart. Um, but I simply, because I live in such a small town at the moment, I purchase a lot of my stuff online and it gets shipped to me. Uh, you can see here it's starting to get a little bit foggy. He's penetrating through the stone and uh, he'll still be able to see. But here we've got a perfect little hole. I'm actually going to put a ring in either side and, and hook a chain to that ring. So it's going to be gorgeous. Here's another stone that he drilled for me already earlier. And now you just put a bale on. These are the stainless steel bales I was mentioning. Um, you just put one of these on. Make sure they're big enough for the stones. you got to keep in mind when you're drilling a stone, is it going to be too heavy to hang around someone's neck? you got to make sure you pick nice light stones that are going to be comfortable hanging. So you don't want to have them too heavy. And make sure you pick bales that are big enough for your stones as well. There. This one is fantastic. It's perfect mandala shaped. I'm going to paint a mandala on this one. It's all ready to go. Now you can also drill multiple holes. Um, you can make dream catchers like uh, this one right here where I've added um, little rings in and feathers. Here's a perfect little mandala. I've also added a crystal on the top in the center. All of these have been sealed with non-toxic art resin. Here's an owl. You can add crystals for the eyes. It's my quiet little owl made in purple. So if you want to know how to do the owl, take a look at my tutorial under quiet little owl. Uh, you can do all shapes and sizes of rocks. 
just understand the bigger the rock, the thicker the rock, the longer it's going to take you to drill and, and just be patient. Um, and I will leave my resin tutorial and any other information you need where I get my crystals, uh, drill bits, everything will be in the description of the video. Um, I hope you guys are able to drill yourself some pendants and make up some beauties yourself. I hope this has been fun, not too challenging. And uh, the best part is you get to create whatever you want on them when you're done. You can even use some of my tutorials if you want to. Uh, so I hope you guys have a great time with this. I love you all and thank you.